Burj Bulks' Burj Olympus. The world we live in today has become increasingly concerned with being green and eco-friendly, and it's easy to see why. Over the years, many people have come to realize the dire state our planet is in, and efforts are now being made to flip different operations over to become greener. As things stand, one of the most notorious pollutants of our oceans and rivers would be ships. Seafaring vessels deposit a ton of waste into the oceans, and experts have claimed that they could single-handedly be responsible for the destruction of our ocean ecosystem and aquatic life if we're not careful. Because of this, different shipping manufacturers have been tweaking their operations and providing more eco-friendly ships that are capable of competing with their more established fuel-powered ones. The Burj Olympus is one such ship, and it has been touted as the most powerful of its kind. Join us on this journey as we look into the Olympus, what it offers, and why many in the maritime industry are currently hyped about it. Speaking at the launch of the ship, James Marshall, the chief executive of Burj Bulk, explained that the ship is part of what he believes to be a grand plan to take the company towards a more eco-friendly, carbon-neutral future. Marshall is hoping the Marshall Plan, as he claimed, will see Burj Bulk take a more active role in transforming the shipping and maritime industry moving it from one of the biggest polluters of the world's oceans to one of the biggest enablers. At the same time, Burge Bulk is also hoping that the Olympus displays that eco-friendly, wind-powered sailing ships can be just as powerful as their fuel-powered counterparts, if not more powerful, in fact. And looking at the size and feature set that this shipping vessel comes with, you definitely have every reason to agree with the Singapore-based company. Operating at the very heart of this ship are the four Bartek Wind Wings, which were designed by Norwegian-based Yara Marine Technologies. These wind wings are essentially humongous sails that are designed to harness the power of the wind and propel the ship. And with their help, the Olympus will need little to no assistance moving around and along the seas. Fuel consumption will be cut and carbon emissions will be reduced as well. According to estimates, the Olympus is expected to save up to six tons of fuel daily on an average route around the world. And in the process, it could cut down on CO2 emissions by up to 19.5 tons per day. Each of these wings measures 20 meters in width and 37.5 meters in height. As such, their sails measure even bigger than the Airbus A380, the largest passenger flight in the world. Besides the wind wings, the Burj Olympus has also been retrofitted with a shaft generator system. This system is driven by the main engine, and its objective is to supply electric power to the main vessel. With a 1 megawatt capacity, the generator is expected to eliminate the need to operate any auxiliary engines at sea. Once again, you see emissions drop and efficiency being optimized. In line with Burj Bulk's objective to achieve carbon neutrality by 2025, the Olympus has been in the works for quite a while. Initial plans for the ship showed that Burj Bulk is also looking to achieve carbon neutrality by as much as 46% by using better paints, energy-saving devices all across the board, and much more. How long till we see the Olympus sail? Well, it shouldn't be long for sure. The Burj Olympus is expected to move soon, traveling between China and Brazil. The trade route is known for its favorable wind conditions, and it'll be the perfect testing route for a vessel as massive as this. Experts also believe that ocean forecasting and improved weather routing will be able to ensure that wind energy can be used even more consistently and better optimized. Although the initial trade route will be between Brazil and China, we wouldn't be surprised to see the Burj Olympus expand its routes very soon in the near future. At the end of the day, the cargo industry has long been yearning for a development such as this, where people and companies will be able to move their cargo across the water without actually polluting it. Finally, the Burj Olympus is giving us a little glimpse of what that future just might look like after all. Changing the paradigm. Now, for a normal person, being able to design the world's largest and most powerful cargo sailing engine would be a pretty big deal. But the guys over at Burj Bulk aren't stopping here. Under the Marshall Plan, the company is also targeting a broader portfolio and fleet of ships and technologies that will drive it closer to its objective of cutting down on emissions significantly. As Marshall himself explained, we are considering all fuel options, including biomethanol, green methanol, ammonia, and nuclear. We also need to address balance. To achieve this, Burj Bulk is already exploring carbon capture onboard systems and spending money on other solutions. In fact, it's even got an objective of planting up to 25 million trees in order to help capture carbon. At the end of the day, the goal here is to reshape the paradigm that the maritime industry is one of the world's largest and most notorious polluters. And it's really not so difficult to see just how and why this paradigm is so prominent. 
As things stand, the ocean covers 75% of the Earth's entire mass. It is home to thousands of species, and it helps to provide humanity with some of its most significant resources – food, energy, entertainment, you name it. But the biggest resource that the ocean provides has always been its aquatic life. Deep in the ocean, there are well over 225,000 species of animals and plants. And a further 2 million are said to be unknown. Each life form contributes to our global ecosystem in one way or the other. And as more and more of these animals and plants become extinct, there really is only one major culprit that has taken the fall, ships. From cruise liners to yachts and cargo ships, ocean-faring vessels have been the de facto polluters of the ocean. And as these ships have grown bigger and stronger, their appetite for things like fuel has only soared. So you can imagine that the emissions they bring alone will be pretty intense. Sure, cruise ships are usually the first to be blamed. Harmony of the Seas, the largest cruise liner in the world, is pretty much a floating town. But let's not neglect the contribution that cargo ships have made to the degradation of our oceans and our environment. These ships carry more cargo and are required to make more trips around the world. And with thousands of cargo ships moving across the seas, there's an argument to be made that their destructive power is even more than that of cruise ships. According to reports, sea freight accounts for about 80% of global trades. With about 90,000 cargo ships traversing the world, it is easily the most widely used method for moving goods. So think about it, 90,000 ships all moving across the world emitting carbon dioxide into the air and the seas. If that carbon doesn't go into the atmosphere, it goes into the seas, acidifying them and making them virtually uninhabitable for aquatic animals. So far, the shipping industry represents about 3% of global emissions and 10% of emissions from transportation. And with the demand for shipping logistics only rising in the past few years, experts believe that this could easily rise significantly over time. This means more ships, more carbon emissions, and an even more intense threat level for oceanic life. Some of the largest cargo ships in the world have been seen to create the same amount of pollution as 50 million cars. So, if you think that driving your car to work every day is contributing to global emissions, imagine how much damage some of these ships are really doing. They're powered by bunker fuel, which is low-quality diesel that should really just be discarded as waste. And with their massive weight, these ships require huge engines and a considerable amount of horsepower to move. All of this goes to show that in their current iteration, cargo ships are a present danger to our overall ecosystem. Burj Olympus is looking to change that, and with a ship set to sail soon, we could see a whole new age of cargo shipping and logistical travel. You see, the world is already moving towards an age of green and environmentally sustainable operations. Everywhere you look, companies and industries are being transformed with new concepts that will make them leaner and greener, and we're all going to be better for it. While it might have taken a while, the cargo industry just might start to chart that same course. And with the Burj Olympus setting sail soon, there is no doubt that we could just see a new dawn in green, environmentally sustainable cargo logistics.